Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum, dear all students. The, this lecture is about the pathology, the chemistry of the thyroid glands, and in this lecture we will discuss about the endocrinology. What is endocrinology? Introduction to endocrinology. Then we will discuss the different types of messengers the chemical messengers that is present within our body and after that we will specifically discuss thyroid glands its anatomy physiology and we will discuss in the last about the functions of the thyroid glands so coming to the introduction of the endocrine system it is a system of glands which produce and secrete hormones into blood and these glands they pour their substance which is being produced by these glands these glands are ductless glands and the hormones diffuse directly into the blood stream without any vessel or without any duct so therefore these are called the endocrine system or the endocrine glands hormones are basically the chemical messengers or the chemical substances which is synthesized by the endocrine glands and these hormones are transported by blood to the target or to the cells the organs or the site of action the chemical messenger are the hormones there are different types of chemical messenger the four types of chemical messenger include the endocrine messenger the paracrine messenger the autocrine messenger and the neurocrine messenger so the endocrine messengers are a type of chemical messengers they which are generally known as the messenger or the hormones these are the classical hormones and they are synthesized produced by the endocrine glands and after production transported to the target tissues or to the target organs by the blood the example of these chemical messengers include the growth hormone the insulin thyroid stimulating hormone the paracrine messenger these are the chemical messenger which diffuse from the control cells to the target cells through the interstitial fluid and these substances directly enter into the neighboring target cells through the gap junctions between the cells and these substances are also called juxtacrine messengers or local hormones and the example of these include the prostaglandins the histamines and cytokines the autocrine messenger is third type of chemical messenger and these are the messengers which control the source of the cell which secrete them or these are the type of messengers they act on their own cell from which these messengers are secreted and they are also called intracellular chemical mediators the example of these mediators include the leukotrienes neurocrine are neural messengers these are the neurotransmitters and neurohormones neurotransmitter is a signaling molecule that carries information from one nerve cell to another nerve cells or from the muscles to the tissues the example of neurotransmitter is the acetylcholine or dopamine the neural messenger or the neurohormone it is a chemical substance and this is released by the nerve cells directly into the blood and transported to a distant target cells this include oxytocin and 
anti diuretic hormone so these are the different endocrine glands the pituitary gland the thyroid glands the parathyroid glands adrenal glands pancreas and gonads so these are the major endocrine glands of the body now let's discuss the thyroid gland which is our topic today so it is this thyroid gland is located in the neck in front of the larynx and trachea at the level of fifth sixth seventh cervical and first thoracic vertebrae and its weight is about 20 to 40 gram this thyroid gland it secretes three types of hormones these hormones are tetraiodothyronine or t4 are also known as thyroxine the triiodothyronine or t3 and the calcitonin the tetraiodothyronine or thyroxine it forms about 90% of the total secretion from the thyroid glands and the t3 is 9 to 10% of this secretion whereas calcitonin is 1 or less than 1% the thyroid gland it is composed of a large spherical cells that is formed from the cuboidal epithelium and these cells they secrete and store colloid this colloid is a thick proteinaceous sticky material in between the follicles there are cells which are present in a single or in a small groups these cells are called peri follicular cells or c cells these peri follicular cells or c cells they secrete another hormone that is called calcitonin the iodine is essential for the formation and the proper functioning of thyroid hormone the thyroxine and triiodothyronine is named or numbered because these hormones they contain four molecules and three molecules of the iodine respectively a thyroxine contain four molecules of iodine and triiodothyronine contains three molecules of iodine and the main dietary sources of iodine is seafood vegetables that is grown in the soil which is iodine rich and the iodized salt thyroid glands it's specifically and selectively absorb the iodine from the blood by a process called iodine trapping so when iodine is ingested in the food and the thyroid gland it screens the blood for the iodine these molecules of iodine are then trapped by this thyroid gland now how this regulation of thyroxine and triiodothyronine occurs the thyroid stimulating hormone it is a hormone that stimulate the release of t3 and t4 from the thyroid hormone into the blood and this tsh is released from the anterior pituitary hormone the tsh secretion is stimulated by another hormone that is thyrotropin releasing hormone and this trh is secreted from the hypothalamus the secretion of trh is stimulated by exercise stress malnutrition low plasma glucose volume and sleep so if 
any one of these condition is present in the body, then they stimulate this T, T R H and this T R H is secreted from the hypothalamus. This T R H then act on the anterior pituitary and they release thyroid stimulating hormone. This thyroid stimulating hormone they act on the thyroid gland and from the thyroid gland they release T 3 and T 4. The TSH secretion it also depends on the plasma levels of T 3 and T 4 and this is the main hormone that control the sensitivity of the anterior pituitary to thyroid releasing thyroid pin releasing hormone and the factors decreasing the secretion of uh, thyroid hormones are excess iodide intake, the stress condition, somatostatin, gl glucocorticoids and dopamine. The half life of thyroid hormone, the T4 has a long half life of 7 days and the half life of T3 is from 10 days to 10 out to 24 hours. So, the half life of TSH is about 60 minutes and the increased secretion of thyroid hormone is called hyperthyroidism. The decreased secretion of thyroid hormone is called hypothyroidism. Now, the functions of thyroid hormones, there are multiple functions of thyroid hormone, but these multiple functions can be simply divided into two categories, the two major effects. The first major effect is the increase metabolic rate and the stimulation of growth in children specifically. So, these are the two factors the two major effects that is caused by the thyroid hormones. So, the action on basic metabolic rate, basal metabolic rate, the T4 increases the metabolic activities in the body tissues and the action of the T4, it increases the BMR and this action is called calorigenic action. The action on protein metabolism, this thyroid hormones they increases the protein synthesis in the cells by increasing the translation of the RNA and the transcription by increasing the mitochondrial activity. So, the mitochondrial activity is increased in the cell and that causes the translation of messenger RNA, the transcription and translation of messenger RNA and increase myocardial activity. The next function of the thyroid hormone is action on carbohydrate metabolism. The thyroxine RT4 it stimulates almost all processes involved in the metabolism of carbohydrate and this increases the absorption of glucose from the gastrointestinal tract, also increase glucose uptake by the cells, transport of glucose through the cell membranes, breakdown of glycogen into glucose and accelerate gluconeogenesis. So, this is the action of thyroid hormones on the carbohydrate metabolism. On fat metabolism, the T3 and T4, they decreases the storage of fats and mobilizes this fat from the adipose tissue and the fat droplets. So, these can be converted into free fatty acids. The action on vitamin metabolism, thyroxine increases the formation of many enzymes because vitamins form essential part of the enzyme. The action on body temperature, thyroid hormones increases the heat production 
in the body. So, it accelerates various cellular metabolic process and therefore, they increases the basal metabolic rate. The action on growth thyroid hormones have general and specific effects on growth. So, if there is increased thyroxine secretion, this increased thyroxine secretion they accelerate the speed up the processing of uh, body growth and especially in case of children because that is a growth stage and this action on the growth hormones that accelerates the growth of the children. The action on the body weight, thyroid hormone is essential and important for maintaining the body weight. If there is increase in thyroxine secretion, then this increase in thyroxine secretion can decrease the body weight and fat storage and the decreased thyroxine secretion increases the body weight and it helps in the deposition of weight. So, uh, deposition of fats. So, therefore, these fats leads to uh, obesity and body weight increase. Thyroid hormone ha also have uh, action on the blood and this thyroid hormones accelerate blood production. So, therefore, they increases the blood volume. The action on cardiovascular system, thyroxine acts directly on the heart and its release increases the heart rate. Also, the thyroxine are the thyroid hormones, they causes vasodilation by increasing the metabolic rate and the motive metabolic activities. The action on respiration, the thyroxine increases the rate and force of respiration indirectly and the increase metabolic rate increases the demand for oxygen and the formation of excess carbon dioxide. The action on gastrointestinal tract, the thyroid hormones or thyroxine they increases the appetite and food intake and they also increases the secretion and movement of the gastrointestinal tract. The action on central nervous system, thyroxine is important for essential uh, development and it is also important for maintenance of normal functioning of the central nervous system. And action on other endocrine glands is we know that thyroid increases the basal metabolic rate. So, because of this metabolic effects the thyroxine increases the demand for secretion of glands by other glands. Calcitonin is another hormone that is uh, released by the thyroid gland and its half life is 5 to 10 minutes. This calcitonin is degraded after that and it is excreted by the liver and the kidneys. Calcitonin reduces the blood calcium level by acting on bones, kidneys and the intestine and calcium prevents the absorption uh, calcitonin prevents the absorption of calcium from the intestine. So, that it cannot come into the blood and this calcitonin decreases the blood level of phosphate by acting on the bones and the kidneys. The high calcium content in the plasma it stimulates the calcitonin secretion. That was all about 
the thyroid glands and their chemistry. You can further discuss and look through these books for these uh, chemistry related to thyroid glands. Hope you have learned about thyroid glands, their anatomy and physiology. The major functions of the thyroid gland in the next lecture we will discuss about the different diseases that is related to the thyroid gland. Thank you for watching. If you have any question you can ask through question box. Assalamu alaikum Allah Hafiz.